What's going on guys? It is the Coaster Battleman here bringing you a weird kind of vlog video on on a, an amusement park trip and I just got to go to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and here is a coaster countdown for it. So this is kind of in a weird format but I kind of wanted to do it in this format because I didn't want to have you guys wait for like a week for another upload in the summer so Here's my list of the top eight coasters at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I haven't been to this park in four years, and I finally got to go just yesterday. And it was a great experience, super nice place. And let's start off with number eight, which is Grover's Alpine Express. And this is just a kid's coaster. Not really too much to say about it, so that's kind of why it's coming in at number eight. And you may be you guys may be surprised at my number seven, which is Tempesto. Well, this is what I have to say. The, the launches are very amazing, and the hang time is probably the best out of any other coaster at Wish Gardens, but the restraints just kind of killed the ride for me. Because on some of those sharp curves and turns and stuff, like there was quite a bit of head banging or neck banging on the weird restraints honestly if this coaster just had the lap bars it would be way higher on this list but because of those res those over the shoulder restraints it's that's why it's so low number six is alpengeist and i have to admit a front row ride in alpengeist is pretty fun and overall very great experience but basically any other row like i rode this twice when i was at bush gardens williamsburg for Alpengeist and the front row was amazing while the seventh row was pretty bad and not that great and it was pretty jerky and rough compared to the front row so now we're going into the top five number five we have Loch Ness Monster and this is a pretty unique aerodynamics custom looping coaster it was its 40th anniversary this year and I've always enjoyed the Loch Ness Monster and I couldn't believe how long the line was for this ride like I didn't expect that many people to be in line for it but overall Loch Ness Monster super fun the interlocking loops have some pretty solid G's there's a pretty cool helix in the middle of the ride or massive helix section in the middle of the ride through a tunnel and overall it's just such a cool ride it's one of the most unique roller coasters I've ridden and definitely my favorite aerodynamics looping roller coaster that I've ridden. Definitely a fun ride. Number four is Invader and this is the new 2017 GCI and I'm pretty surprised I've ranked it this high because I thought Alpengeist and Tempesta would be really good but they were kind of rough compared to what I thought. So, Invader is at number four, so it's just slightly better than Loch Ness Monster, in my opinion. But Invader, super fun wooden coaster from GCI, pretty solid, has some pretty nice airtime moments, a pretty cool drop as well through that tunnel, and overall just such a fun family coaster for a GCI, very good family coaster, and overall super fun really enjoy this ride definitely one of my favorite rides at Busch Gardens Williamsburg or one of the better rides at the park of the top eight coasters so number three we have Verbolton and you guys may be super surprised by this but in 2014 like when I rode Verbolton I did not like it that much because I think it was just gonna be some relaxing family coaster and then the launches were just too surprising but I got back on it for 2018 and I got to ride it a few times and really, really great experience. The launch was awesome. The first launch was, a lot, was really awesome. The theming was great and we braved the Black Forest. Like the beginning section was nice. The Black Forest section was super cool, but there was a mini drop section, which kind of caught me off guard, kind of like a, what a drop tower is which was really cool and then you just have an awesome drop towards the end of the ride and it was such a great experience 
Number two is Griffin, and this is the B&M dive coaster. And this coaster is, in my opinion, way better than Valraven as a dive coaster because of one main factor, smoothness. This coaster is so smooth. Even though it only has, even though it has the over the shoulder restraints, this ride is just such a smooth dive coaster. Like it's been around for 11 seasons. It was glossy smooth and the drop is just awesome. The inversions are solid and you have the water splash down and you, and if you're in the front row, you can get a little wet because the water is in the air for quite a few seconds and you're flying through the course. So that's a pretty cool thing. And I got to ride this coaster in the morning. I got there right in the beginning for Griffin, all three rows. So I rode the front row, then the second row, then the third row. And it doesn't really matter where you go on this ride. It's like glossy smooth anywhere on, on the coaster. But I feel like a bit smoother would be in the middle of the row rather than on the side. That's probably how it is with Val Raven as well. But overall, Griffin, awesome dive coaster. Really fun experience. And number one is Apollo's Chariot. And I originally, I thought Griffin was the best ride at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But coming back four years later, Apollo's Chariot is definitely the best coaster in the park. It's an airtime machine. Like, seriously, the airtime is unbelievable for Apollo's Chariot. Super enjoyable. Overall, very fun ride. And... Just overall, Apollo's Chariot, the ride time is amazing, like super long ride. And it's just great, like any way you can think of. My only slight problem was just the, there was just a bit of a slight rattle, but that didn't really matter at all. Because like B&M Hypers, like can't beat them. Like super fun ride, great air time. Had some pretty nice helix sections and the drop was awesome. Such a great ride. And thank you guys so much for watching. A King's Dominion Top Roller Coasters video will be coming soon. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.